largest meeting of the North End Waterfront Neighborhood Council. My name is Phil Frateroli. I'm the president. Uh, I just want to remind everybody that we're being videotaped by NorthEndWaterfront.com. Um, now I'd like to introduce John Bergman for the... I'm sorry, let's do the roll call. Uh, you want to start down there? David Marks. John Bregman. Maria Lanza. Ralph Rocky. Lisa Bella. Tony Jordan. Phil Frateroli. Dan Devlin. Tayo Farrell. Brian Kenny. John Riccio. Right now for the meeting protocol. Thank you. The meeting will be conducted according to parliamentary rules. The president will have the final word at the end of the meeting and will cast a vote only in the event that the rest of the council reaches the time. The president will recognize the speaker to make the presentation or statement. Then he will permit the council to ask questions. We will then open the floor to the questions from the audience, and each audience member should address themselves by name and street address. No person will speak until they have been recognized by the president. Now for a report for local elected officials. Uh, this is Leo Mayo Walsh's office. Uh, I just want to let everyone know again that Boston Shines is the weekend of May 9th and 10th. So the registration is live on the website, on the city's website. So we encourage everyone to to join. Tony and I are actually going to work together this year to make it a big one, successful. And so we hope that we get uh, a lot of the members to come and help us. Well, did you say the 9th and the 10th? Yeah, so they do like a... Uh, quote, like corporate day on the 9th, and then they'll do the community day on the 10th. Great. Uh, Nicole, I have a quick question. Uh, last Friday, Mayor Walsh said that he's uh, putting into effect a late night task force to look into extending the hours of operation for bars until 3.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if you could tell us any more uh, about that, if you know anything as to when, the, as to when the program would maybe go into effect, how long it would go into effect for, they and for neighborhoods affected. Yeah, they haven't told us that yet. I know okay. right now it's just starting in the C4. Okay. So that's where they're going to uh, test Do they it. have any idea as to when it would take place in the C4? In the C4? I don't know that. Okay. Thank you. But if you email me, or sure. I'll email you tomorrow. We'll get the, the facts. Absolutely. Okay. Now, uh, Okay. Sorry, just one, one more. Sorry. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I, I also missed somebody else. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any reports, but I'm Jesse F. from Kessler. I am a press office, so I just want to say hello. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Uh, also, Patrick Lyons, 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 Lyons representative Aaron like this office. Nothing new to report, but uh, happy to be here. Thanks so much. Uh, now, Brian Kenny with the Resident Parking Traffic Committee. Uh, nothing really new. As you know, March 1st, street sweeping is back in effect. I think uh, because of the issues with snow, I don't know how much uh, street sweeping they've actually been doing, but just uh, be on notice that they will start towing and ticketing cars now, so just pay attention to the signs again. I think last year they put down uh, flyers on cars for the first few weeks they were doing street sweeping, uh, just to remind you without towing or ticketing, but definitely by April 1st they will be back to towing and ticketing. So, so yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, now it's David Marks with the Public Safety Committee. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, I wanted to focus on a couple recent incidents. Um, the most recent um, assault and battery that occurred, um, it made a lot of press, of course. The lady um, at last week's Public Safety Meeting, Thursday night, uh, the issue of cameras came up. And I actually asked uh, Lieutenant Chucky Wilson, who was here, about that. He said that there used to be pole cameras that were up um, when the previous incidents happened, all within a short period of time within a, a concentrated area. Um, and, but since then, they were taken down. It was a short-term measure. He said it's going to take a lot more than just a single isolated incident to justify putting those cameras back up. So the reason why I'm mentioning it is that there's two reasons. One, just to give you information, but number two, um, cameras can be a, a very, very good tool by which to uh, catch suspects for any type of crime. So that's something that's not working in our favor as far as trying to catch who did this. Um, the patrols have been stepped up in, wake, in the wake of this incident. Um, walking police you know, on the beat. Um, again, we have the late night party car um, that's tied into Suffolk University. And um, there is one police officer that does do the walking beat between 11.45 p.m. and 7.30 a.m. And of course, we have Roy Garter, who I believe works from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. I actually, in all seriousness, asked if there was any way his hours could be extended, or even if it started at 4 and then at midnight, and that's when Sergeant Lima, I believe, told me about the 11.45 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. shift. So that overnight shift is covered, so to speak. I also asked about the missing 24-year-old 
the North End resident, Eric Munsell. I know that happened probably about a month ago. And according to um, Chucky Wilson, you know, the sad truth is he, he believes that, you know, I think the guy is gone. And they, he was going into detail about he feels that his body will come up at some point, but not till the spring. Um, so he was kind of going into that and talking about their efforts where they've been scoping the whole water area from Four Point Channel all the way up to Long Wharf. And he was saying how the currents, the water currents, go south. And that's why they did start it at Long Wharf and did the search all the way down. They even scoped the area for five or six days in a row. They went out in the water, just nothing. Um, so it's a very, very sad situation to say the least. Public safety meeting is always the first Thursday of the month at 6.30 p.m. But next month's meeting will actually be at the Mariner House because there's a scheduling conflict here. So there will be a reminder in the regional review. Can we cancel the meeting? I actually emailed Sergeant Lima today about the Mariner House. So um, and I spoke to someone at the Mariner House. He's, the, the, um, he's like the head. And he said, we are allowed to use their room. So I emailed Sergeant Lima back. And then I sent it to Phil to be published in the regional review at some point. And Matt Conti will publish it in the Monday's website, northendworkhome.com. So once again, 6.30 p.m., but next, next month's meeting, Thursday, April 3rd, second floor of the Mariner House on North Square. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, uh, David. David. Uh, now, John Gregor will communicate with Committee to report. Thanks, Phil. Um, so because there's a North End community meeting at the Mariner's House again on March uh, 12th, which is this Wednesday from 6.30 to 8. I'm, I'm not going to have a report today. I'll ask that y'all attend that and um, they'll provide updates. But also, we had one last year, and it, it's an opportunity for the North End to offer their um, opinions, thoughts, criticisms, advice to not only the North End parks, which are over here uh, on Hanover and Salem, but the North End in general. So I, I would uh, encourage everyone to attend if they have time. And again, that's Wednesday the 12th, this upcoming Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 at the Mariner's House. Thank you, John. And now, um, Maria Lanza to announce our upcoming elections this coming May. So it's that time of year again in North End Waterfront Neighborhood Council elections are happening this May. <coughs> Nomination papers will be available at 12 p.m. on April 25th and will have to be turned in by May 9th at 5 p.m. And it's going to have to be 40 signatures to be on the ballot. Yeah, 40. And May 12th will be our May monthly meeting. That'll be the candidates forum. So everybody who turns in the correct amount of signatures and they're checked by our council will be able to speak at that meeting May 12th. And May 17th will be our election here at the Nazaro from 10 to 2. Bill, if I may, may I just add two more questions? Sure. Uh, real quick. As a follow-up to the safety update I just gave, there was a self-defense uh, lecture-style class that was held in the gymnasium upstairs here last Thursday night at 6 o'clock. Lasted, I think, about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, Gary Evelon ran that. He also had a huge turnout in East Boston the night before. He had about 100 people show up. So we had 30, which is pretty good. And um, I think a lot of people found it to be very helpful. Um, there were teenagers there and people all the way up to, I'd say, at least 70, 75 years old. It's a great turnout. And the only other thing I want to add is, as you may know, last Monday, there was a city council hearing last Monday night regarding um, trash and recycling issues as they affect not only the North End, but also the South End, Bay Village, Chinatown, and Beacon Hill. And this has been a culmination of a lot of people's efforts um, going back as far as seven years, if not longer. So we had people speak very eloquently uh, from each neighborhood except for Chinatown. Tony spoke on behalf of the North End, which was loved and she spoke so well. Um, in favor of a proposal to change the <coughs> time that you're allowed to put trash out um, to 6 to 9 a.m., the same day that trash is picked up. And the official record at that city council hearing will reflect that everyone that testified, except for only one person, testified in support of this multi-neighborhood proposal. Um, the status quo is not working right now. And there's been a lot of attention about this on Matt's website. Um, so I don't want to keep going on and on about it, but I just want to give you that update. And the city council went into recess, which means it's still an open issue. And they're going to do some cost research. And you know, the trash contract and recycling contracts are up for bid right now. 
and new contracts will go into effect in the summer, but nothing has been concluded yet. It's still, the process is still going along. They haven't chosen a, a trash collector yet. Or so. That's it, thank you. Mr. Chairman, I have a question. You said May 17th. Uh, I know you have to be a resident. What's the age requirement? 18 Can you change, change that? Can you go to the chairman of the committee? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Any objections to that? Mm -hmm. uh,